Hello again, everyone. This is Randy, your sewing machine man. I'm coming to you today with a real quick tip about changing out a needle plate screw without dropping it down inside, which is why this machine came in. Nice little baby lock machine. And these baby locks, like the brothers, they have these uh, real wide openings here. And uh, a lot of times you can have the handy little tool. Sometimes a quarter works very nicely. But you break them loose and you spin them loose with a smaller screwdriver or your nail or a penny, whatever you got. And here's where it gets interesting because now they're hard to get a hold of. The old school ones had this real, real nice little flare on them here. We could get a hold of them with your nail and grab them. These are real thick on the top, real thick. Put it up here where you can see it. Sorry about the light. And like I said, easy to drop. And that's why we're here today because this one had dropped down inside the machine and the lady's real good about taking her needle plate off and cleaning it out and that's something you need to do. But what you don't want to do is uh, aggravate the situation by dropping the needle plate screw down in or a needle or anything like that. So I always tell folks when you get it out to just about ready to hop out of there, leave it in place. And then I have all kinds of magnets all kinds of magnets and you just pick it right up out of there and it's not going to go anywhere and of course these these extendo magnets you can get those at the auto supply or home depot or whatever these are pretty handy and if you drop something on the floor you can reach over and extend this like the three feet and grab it without having to crawl around the floor which doesn't appeal to me so you put it in there and tighten it back down but when you get it out you know, sometimes you can have a magnetic screwdriver, and a magnetic screwdriver is good, but a tiny one like that, it'll fall off. So if you can get it on something that's really got a good magnet, and once you bring it out, of course, you don't leave it lying about. You put it in a magnet tray like this. You can get those at Northern Tool. Probably get these at Northern Tool as well, the Extendo magnets. But if you leave a screwdriver in that magnet tray... It will become magnetized if it's metal, if it's steel. If it's got any iron oxide in it, any kind of iron. But uh, everything nowadays is aluminum and plastic. So you might be able to magnetize a screwdriver in there. But if you magnetize a screwdriver, you can get some grip. But it can still fall off pretty easily. But get one of these guys. And you have yourself a screw that's not going anywhere. Now in addition to that, I also have some different screw grabbers that some have the tool on the end to grab the screw and put it in but these are these are good also you can get these at the hardware store ace hardware has them anything with a magnet on the end you can grab that guy and secure it and keep it from falling down inside now sometimes if it falls down inside you can get lucky and get your tweezers and get down there and grab it but if you ever lose a screw or a needle down in the needle plate area, the first thing you want to do is turn your machine off. And don't go flipping it around or anything like that until you've turned it off. Absolutely, you don't want anything to come in contact with an electronic component. Like this is a servo motor on the, like a machine like this. It makes the feeders go forward and back. It makes the needle go left and right. You have something like this mounted underneath. And these are the contacts. These are where it plugs in. And if metal, like a screwdriver, uh, a needle, a screw, anything, contacts these, it'll short it out. And then you haven't just lost a screw, you've trashed your servo motor on your machine. And then it gets kind of pricey. So I would recommend that when you take a screw out of the needle plate, once you get it loose, once you get it where it's absolutely ready to come out, grab it with a magnet, lift it out, hang on to it. Take it off here, drop it in your magnetic tray and account for it because you don't want to drop it down inside because it'll get wedged down there. It'll short something out. It'll break something off. Make sure you don't run your machine if you lost a, lost a part down in there and say, oh, I'll just run with one screw and it'll be okay. Not good, especially with an electronic machine. So a little helpful hint for the day, no matter what kind of machine you have, don't drop one of these down inside, especially if it's an electronic.